Hello there lovely people, it's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today we finally get to review Mario Tennis Aces. This review was originally written by the wonderful Mike Diver, and has been adapted for video by me. But anyway, enough waffling, let's dive right into things. <laughs> Bereft of feature content as it was, the Wii U's Mario Tennis Ultra Smash delivered addictive, enjoyable core gameplay for as long as its online servers remained populated. Its measly offline attractions and lack of court and character variety proved its critical undoing, but developer Camelot Software, makers of the original Mario Tennis and Mario Golf since the N64 days, nevertheless managed to make the essentials sing. And it's from this solid foundation that the studio has built the game Ultra Smash should have been Mario Tennis Aces, where Ultra Smash's extras were were a pure monkey's island worth of living without that particular piece of junk, whatever that means, Aces stuffs its kid bag with activities until the zip's positively pinging off across the locker room like a smartly volleyed can of energy drink. Again, whatever that means. Not everything is evenly fleshed out, but whatever your preferential way to play, there's plenty to get stuck into, both solo and with pals. Aces offline tournament play is limited to just three difficulty levels, the standard mushroom, beginner, flower, intermediate, and star, which is the harder mode. Even so, it doesn't represent too much of a test for experienced Mario Tennis players. But at least they're actually tournaments here, an immediate improvement on Ultra Smash, which couldn't even handle the most basic bracket. Different courts are unlock for free play by progressing through Ace's Adventure Mode. We'll talk more about that in a moment, but having every playable character available from the moment you first turn on the game, from classic favourites to the surreal sight of a chain chomp smacking balls across the place, it's a real treat. It certainly beats having to earn coins to add them to the roster in the Ultra Smash way. Local multiplayer works just fine with the Joy-Cons removed, albeit with the compromise of each character's distance covering trick shot being mapped to a double tap of the X button rather than a flick of the right analog stick. An alternative way to play is available, however, the Wii Sports Recalling Swing Mode, which lacks the accuracy that can be gained from regular pad play, but makes for far greater laughs in a totally different way. And who knows, you might get a little workout. Just be sure, as always, to remove the priceless Ming vases that you have scattered around your living room whilst you're waving around your virtual tennis racket. Online play is something that sadly we weren't able to test at the time of this review, but we look forward to swinging into it once Aces is officially launched. If there's anything wildly amiss about it, you can be sure that we'll update the written review over on nintendolife.com because putting out a video just to say the online isn't great it just, just seems a bit silly. For all its faults though, Ultra Smash played just fine when facing off against opponents staring at screens from the other side of the world, so we can't see Aces falling short on that front. As well as the risky trick shots that each character can use to fill up the energy gauge in the top right hand corner, Aces introduces one blistering special shot per competitor as well. As you might expect, these are connected to your energy gauge, and when it's full and flashing, a tap of the left shoulder button will trigger a canned animation leading to a scorching return. There's no guarantee it'll score you a point, but these among with the other zone shots and zone speed are the best way to defeat opponents, especially when you factor in that equipment failure is a massive part of this game. At the start of every match, each player is given a number of rackets to use, and unless you return with perfect timing, zone shots and special shots can not only damage but ultimately destroy your rackets. If you're too early or you're too late, these vital tools of the tennis trade will take damage, although you can increase your window of opportunity by using zone speed. This does use energy, however, so if you haven't got any you're gonna have to just get very, very good. As such, reading not only your opponent's shots in the moment, but also the state of their energy gauge, and indeed your energy gauge, is paramount to success. With breakable defenses and full pelt body shots very much an aggressive option, Aces sometimes has the feel of a fighting game as much as it does a stylized sports sim. But don't worry if you're into any of these newfangled shenanigans, classic, simple rules are available to play with as well, which is just basically tennis. No broken rackets, no special shots, just, just good old-fashioned tennis. The Adventure Mode returning to this series for the first time since 2005's Mario Tennis Power Tour for the Game Boy Advance offers no such classic mode instead actively funneling the player, as Mario with motivational support from Toad, towards all manner of bizarre showdowns based around bouncing balls and flailing bats. Here you'll be playing on courts with magical mirrors trying to misstep you, a Cooper captain ship with a central master to deflect winners off, and a train station overrun with snowball slinging shy guys. The storyline, thankfully, is pure nonsense. Something about a mean, magical racket kidnapping Luigi after possessing Wario and Waluigi, and there's this series of power stones that need retrieving in order to rescue him. 
But it's a typically bright and breathlessly imaginative affair. Is the occasional significant difficulty spike and the need to grind in order to level up. Mario's skills like his power, accuracy and agility are all tied to his current level so you may find yourself backing away from a boss to spend more time on the practice court before returning feeling fitter, happier and all over healthier. Toad does offer some advice after defeats but this can be just as much confusing as it is helpful, making you look for chinks in armour that simply aren't there. What's more, the game's array of special abilities aren't explained all that clearly in Adventure Mode either. We found it was better to play a few tournament games to get to grips with Ace's new mechanics rather than just diving straight in. Once everything clicks into place though, it's clear that Camelot has devised a system that is adaptable to a lot of different strategies, equally suited to backford defensive maneuvers on the baseline as it is to confident net play. And believe me, you're gonna need to make sure you mix up the different strategies, because otherwise you're just flat out not gonna get very far. We're used to seeing Wii U games transfer to Switch, but for Ultra Smash to have moved across without a substantial makeover would have been disastrous. Aces, wonderfully, is anything but that. It's a superb arcade sports game that's generous with its suite of player options and only occasionally guilty of being a little bit cheap in its adventure mode. The presentation is spot on and the core tennis action is absorbing whether you're trading simple strokes or firing off special shots. Some of the animations and voiceovers are identical to Ultra Smash's, but everything around them seems to have been overhauled to splendid heights. This is something of a Switch port plus plus then, not quite an entirely new experience, but so improved as to be near unrecognizable next to its preceding title.